I'm waiting for a moment just to see what happens behind these two because Aaron Stanfield. Go ahead, burn out. Aaron Stanfield had the choice of lane. He came up in the left. Now, you can make that determination at any point until you start the car and start the burnout. So Aaron was well within his rights to turn on the turn signal and go over to the other side of the racetrack. The car behind him, the pair behind him, the car with lane choice is Greg Anderson. Greg is sitting in the left, and he has not yet turned on the turn signal. But depending on what happens with the pair in front of him, he can if he wants to. He does have Kyle Koretsky sitting right in front of him. We're talking about the Lucas Oil KPK car, the Nitro Fish team that is part of KB Racing. So if the KB car in front of him makes a good solid run, I have a feeling Greg will stay right where he's at. If not, knowing what the setup of the cars is, he might just turn on the blinker. Aaron Stanfield out of the number three qualifying spot, number two in the points. He has been the biggest thorn in Erica Ender's side so far this year. And that is a role that he relishes. Big Al Lindsay pounding on the top of the car over there for the Janik brothers, JC3 Energy, telling Aaron, go get us another one. Red light. Kozlowski dropped the hammer three hundredths of a second too soon, and at 6.6, Four, three, 208 miles an hour. Aaron Stanfield is going on. Koretsky goes 6-6-6 six, six, six at 205, but he was 029 on the wrong side of the tree, and Aaron Stanfield will advance. 664, and now we'll just wait and see how that stacks up with the rest of the field. 6.643, 208, 84.